I'm Karen Keene, the director of the Cardiac Cath Lab. We'll be demonstrating the timeout on one of our patients in the Cardiac Cath Lab department. This is the last step of the universal protocol to ensure that we are performing the correct procedure on the correct patient and on the correct site and side. It is important to again verify their allergies, the time their perioperative medication was administered, and to share any other pertinent information concerning our patient before we actually begin the procedure. Cardiac catheterization procedures do not require site marking since the insertion site is not predetermined. Hello, my name is Dawn. I'll be your nurse for this procedure. I have a few questions for you before we get started. Uh, what is your name and date of birth? Kevin Jones. My date of birth is November 10th, 1960. Can you tell me what procedure you're having today? I'm having a right and left heart catheterization. Kevin Jones was born on November 10th, 1960 and is having a right and left heart catheterization. Okay, we will be prepping and draping you for your procedure. It'll be a few minutes before the physician comes in. Okay, okay everybody, it's time for our timeout. Please stop what you're doing and let's begin. Kevin Jones and his date of birth is 11-10-1960. His two identifiers were checked prior to the prep procedure by Dawn and myself. I agree. Per the consent, Dr. Blankenbaker will be performing the right and left heart cath. Is this correct? Yes, that is correct. We have entered Kevin Jones, date of birth, 11-10-1960, into the x-ray equipment and have the correct patient's name on our monitor. I agree. It is noted that the patient is allergic to iodine, which has caused him to have hives in the past. Did the patient receive his pre-medication for his iodine allergy? Yes, the patient has been pre-medicated per protocol and has received Benadryl and Solumedryl at 0900 today. The bun and creatinine for this patient is 28 and 1.5. The patient has received mucomist and an IV bolus of fluids per order. Does anyone have any other pertinent information before we begin? No. No. I have two 10 ml syringes of lidocaine 2%. I have one 10 ml syringe of nitroglycerin, it's 100 mics per ml, and I have 2% heparinized saline flush, it was 2 units per ml. I verify these medications are correct and have been checked for expiration dates. Does everyone agree with this information? Yes. 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 The timeout is complete. Let's begin. I'll have the lidocaine, please. Please follow the standard method of conducting timeout for all procedures to ensure patient safety. Notify your supervisor immediately if the procedure cannot be followed for any reason. <laughs> 